morning. Hey, another quick thought. Um, on the way to the office this morning, thinking about something that uh, hit me pretty hard yesterday and lately, and lately, uh, with regard to healing, some of the things that we can do that can really speed up the healing and eliminate some of the barriers that are keeping us from getting better. And one of them is something that most of us wouldn't think of very often, but it was brought to my attention recently, uh, first by my wife, Shannon, who is way more insightful than I'd like her to be sometimes. Um, and then again, uh, brought home yesterday by my son. And so uh, a couple months ago, a gal, uh, I, was taking, I was taking Noah to school, uh, right near the end of school, one of the last days of school. And uh, this gal, um, this gal threw her car into reverse when we were stopped behind her at a, at a stop sign and, and backed into my truck and just, you know, really crunched up her car, but, but put a big old dent in my, in my bumper. And, you know, so we, we did the whole insurance thing. She was, you know, very apologetic, you know, all of that. Well, for some reason, I just never really let it go. And so yesterday we were driving somewhere and I was, you know, saying something about this particular situation, kind of remembering the, this little fender bender thing. And, and Noah from the back seat says, Dad, that was like two months ago. She said she was sorry and you're still mad at her. And I thought, holy cow, you know, Here's, here's my son seeing me be like really kind of a jerk months after the thing. And I realized, you know, how long do we hold on to some of this stuff? This was a really a minor deal. Nobody got hurt. It was a minor deal. And yet here I was still, you know, being angry about it. And a lot of times when you look at people with with pain or health issues or, or chronic stuff going on, you see there, there's more to the story than the injury that brought the pain on or the, or the incident that brought the pain on. There's something often that's kind of blocking their expression of, of real healing. And so um, in this instance uh, of you know, hanging on to just an old thing. I thought, you know, how does that apply to some of some of my, you know, recovery issues, you know, from little injuries and things like that. And so whatever it's worth, I thought I'd share it with you. Sometimes healing requires looking at our lives and figuring out, you know, what do I need to forgive? Is it in me? Is it in someone that I care about? Is it some daily stupid thing that's driving me nuts? You know, where where would a little forgiveness take a burden off and in so doing allow us the resources that we need to recover? Just a quick thought. It is what it is. Thanks a lot.